president also said that reportedly that he felt <laughs> pressured to leave the U.S. Embassy because he was informed that if he did not, his family might be in some kind of danger or under some kind of pressure. But the pressure that he was feeling apparently came from U.S. officials. I would point you to the statements of uh, several State Department officials, including the ambassador, that that's simply not the case. Uh, at no time did any U.S. official speak to Mr. Shen about any physical or legal threats to his wife or his children, nor did Chinese officials make any such threats to State Department officials. U.S. interlocutors did not uh, did make clear that if uh, Chen elected to stay in the embassy, Chinese officials had indicated to us that his family would be returned to Shandong, uh, and they would lose their opportunity, opportunity rather, to negotiate for reunification. At no point during his time in the embassy did Mr. Chen ever request political asylum in the U.S., and at every opportunity he expressed his desire to stay in China, reunify with his family, continue his education, and work for reform in his country. All of our diplomacy was directed at putting him in the best possible position to achieve his objectives. So you're suggesting that at best he misunderstood? I'm saying that there was no pressure of any kind placed on him by U.S. officials.